So what is up guys? Welcome to a uh, pretty much a character announced on the new MMPR Jason with the Dragon Shield. I'm your host Wolf Thunder Range and today we'll be talking about discussing his moves from the descriptions and kind of get a better picture of what this character might do and go from there. So we have Rising Power, Rising Power, Jason does Rising Power slash again but gets an extra hit with the Dragon da Dagger. So if he's, is he going to pop him up twice? Probably. So that's pretty good, and it just it might be a quicker version since his breaker one's a slow version. This might be a quicker one, so this might be his insta, which is why this move is like 670 damage. Makes sense? All right, so that's going to be a quick move. Kind of reminds me of Lambo, where he got his dark magic strike to go faster. Starting to see a copy and paste trend here. Okay, let's not discuss that. Okay, awesome seeing this. A shield on Jason right here. The Dino Dragon Fury. Fury slashes from the Dragon Dagger. Power Sword for combo damage. Now, what do I like about this? It has cap potential. It's definitely going to have a cancel. There's no doubt about it. This is a multi-hit attack that can be canceled. No doubt that this can be a new cat, but a very cooler version of cat. Because we do have two breakers. Technically, they gave him a cat moveset, if that makes sense. Yeah, sad, but eh. Cat's good. Why not Jason? You know? Anyways... So looking back at this, uh, Furious Slash from the Dragon Dagger, so that's going to be cool. I'm expecting him just to do, like, stabs, like, um, Sub-Zero when he gets his Popsicle stick and he just, like, stabs, like, the opponent with it, but I don't know how it's going to look. But that seems like a very unique new attack, so I'm excited. Power Leap, Jason leaps at his opponent for a Mighty Slash of the Power Sword, quickly following up by the Dragon Dagger. Um, you know what, I'm just going to call it now. Uh, this is Preston's move, but as a breaker. But it won't look like Preston in a ninja stance. It'll probably look more like Jason actually doing the jump in the show. He might be a little higher, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how fast this move is, but we'll definitely judge that by the, the tomorrow after his gameplay drops. So we'll see how fast it is and see if it's definitely giving off that extra good damage. I like. And Dragon's Eye. Um, blade in each hand. Jason spins, creating a whirlwind with multi-hit damage. Uh, Trini rings a bell as well. Multi-hit damage, uh, spinning blade daggers, so pretty much Jason doing Trini's move. Uh, another copycat, but we're not gonna discuss that. Okay, awesome. Let's get to the Dragon's Orb power, his ultimate move. With the strength of the Dragon Seal, Jason's rising power attack is now followed up with a descending... Wait a minute, rising power attack. So that's 670 move with a descending double stab. Wow, Jason's power leap is now so powerful it creates an explosion after the final hit. So, yeah, he definitely got Street Fighter mechanics. Yeah, he got the Street Fighter mechanics. So now Rising Power Slash gets an extra move after it, and Power Leap gets an extra explosion damage after it. So hopefully he turns around like a taunt, and it works. Went over his talent tree. He has 34% health, and actually pretty good talents. 48, believe it or not, it's uh, 46 defense and breaker damage uh, down the board. So I find that interesting because I... Did go over... My bad. My bad, I guess. So, uh, yeah, he's going to have 44% breaker and strike damage, and that's going to be interesting. He's going to have 24% health pool. So he might have a lot of health on this, believe it or not, so we'll wait and see when that drops. And seeing what his cross slash is, it says it's a dash. It looks like it could cause a pop-up as well. Could be good. We have to wait and see. Anyways, back to the man of the hour. So, yeah, um, obviously we... We're, we were going to see copy and paste moves regardless, even if it's a legendary or not. It's still exciting to see how Power Leap's going to look and Dino Dragon Fury. I'm excited. I think you guys kind of got the picture of what a lot of these attacks look like because we know them, we've seen them, and they'll probably look a lot cooler when Jason does it because he's the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. But without further ado, guys, um, I have nothing else to show you. I have to wait to see his gameplay to kind of give you my final opinion. But this is looking pretty hype because he is giving off that Cat Manx vibe. We all know how good Cat Manx is, but let's see how good Jason can pull off. Because I think Jason doesn't need to get attacked to do that shield. He can just stab and do cancels and all that good stuff. So until then, guys, peace out, and we'll see how fast that, even that rising power attack could be.